Maybe Jane is a modern version of Hollywood classic, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, which used to be one of my favorite movies when I was a child. I found the story rather horrifying and claustrophobic, and um, that's uh, that's all, also the atmosphere I was looking for because the characters of the book are trapped in their life, so their life is claustrophobic. It's a book also about panic disorder and um, it was a um, kind of natural step for me to move, to <laughs> move into the world of uh, panic disorder because I had been already working on, on mental disorders and my first novel, Sally's Cows, is partly about eating disorders. So the next project with mental illness was, was the project with panic disorder. And um, it was a very different kind of project about uh, when I compared with uh, Starly's Cows because it seems like um, eating disorders are very popular also amongst researchers as well as authors, so you could find endlessly books about eating disorders, fiction and non-fiction, and uh, endlessly also research article, uh, articles and, and everything, so there was plenty of material f about eating disorders. But uh, So I was actually expe uh, expecting to uh, have a little bit same kind of process uh, with Baby Jane, but then uh, when um, when I started to work on, on, on the book, I noticed that researchers actually don't care too much about panic disorder. So it's not a hot mental disorder amongst researchers. And I was rather disappointed and, and um, felt like, like um, okay, for some reason this mental disorder is not important for researchers. And, um, but that of, that of course also meant that it became even more important um, for me. Well, I, I think author's duty is to write about problems that, that are somehow um, essential to, to the world we are living in. And um, most of the readers uh, or reading audience finds books very helpful.